If your workbook is likely to be used by other users, you might have concerns about the structure, the layout of the workbook. In other words, in this particular workbook, which currently has four sheets in it, we want to keep these sheets, we want to keep them in the same order. We might also consider the idea that maybe some of these sheets need not be visible. Remember, we're thinking that others might be using this. When you protect a workbook, you have control over the structure of a workbook, and you can provide a password to prevent others from unprotecting it. Now, in this workbook, in a sheet called Worksheet Protection, there are formulas in column J that relate to information found on a worksheet called Tax Table, and you don't want that information being disrupted. The Tax Table sheet, I'm clicking on it now, it's pretty small, it just has this information in it. You can hide a worksheet. I'm going to right click and hide this worksheet. The formula still works here. I don't want anybody disrupting that. I do want others to be able to use these worksheets. I don't want them altering that one. I don't want them to be able to get to it. If I simply save this workbook and send it to someone else, someone else might right click one of the sheets, choose unhide, and unhide that sheet. And by the way, if you've got multiple sheets listed here, you can only unhide one at a time. So if we simply save this and send it to someone else, someone else could unhide that. We also don't want someone else to be able to add worksheets, move them, or delete any of these. And when you right click on a sheet, we've got quite a few choices here. We essentially want to turn off all of these options. So by protecting the workbook, we will prevent anyone from even knowing if there's a hidden worksheet, and we'll also prevent most of the changes regarding moving and copying and deleting worksheets. Go to the Review tab, choose Protect Workbook. Structure is automatically checked for us. Let's provide a password so someone else might not decide to unprotect. Click OK. Re-enter the password. So imagine this is in someone else's hands. It's been saved. The other person might think, I wonder if there are any hidden worksheets here. I'll right-click one of these sheets. Well, we don't even know. We can't get to that feature at all. We can select all sheets, but that's not going to help us. We could right-click down here, and as you can see, we can't insert or delete or rename or move or copy any sheets. And what if we did go to that worksheet protection sheet and looked at the formula in column J? It's referring to tax table. That's a different sheet. Where is it? Well, I guess we'd assume it's on a hidden sheet but we can't get to it. So protecting a workbook is really about structure, the number of sheets you've got in a workbook, their order, and your control over them. And at some point, of course, you might want to unprotect. Notice that the command still says protect workbook, but click it, and then you'll be prompted to put in the password. Unprotecting a workbook, a valuable feature when you have security concerns.